Hey guys, Aaron Smith here. I'm just chilling on my bed, going to make this movie for you about Windows Live Movie Maker and how you can make your videos look very, very professional for free, really, really easily. So let's go into it and let's show you my desktop here. Okay, so most computers come with Windows Live Movie Maker, and if yours doesn't have it on it, you can just Google it and download it for free, and it's just, you know, the first one that pops up here. So the very first thing that you're going to do is on your Home tab, you're going to click on Add Videos and Photos. And so let's just choose one of these videos. I don't really care which one it is. Let's go this 10-minute one. Alright, so it'll show you a little preview right here on your left side. You can do the pl the play the backwards forwards and then also has how long it is and at what point you're at right here and then these are the different frames you can just click and it'll take you through different frames here and then let's go over these things up here so this is where you add more videos more photos you can add music to it you just um, go with the music that's already on your computer and then the other thing is with music make sure that it's not copyright and that it's free or what's it called, free domain or something like that. So just make sure it's not copyright because YouTube will shut you down if you do that. The webcam video, if you have a webcam on your computer, you can take a video right now and put it in there. Snapshot, you can take a snapshot of some frame, like for example right here if I want to take a snapshot of this frame right here. Just click on that and it'll take a little picture of your, your the pop, that part of your video. And your title, when you click on title, it comes here to the very first. And, you know, that's my favorite part. It's because I think that makes it look even more professional. Instead of, you know, just jumping right into you talking, it kind of gives you an intro about, intro about what your vi video is about. And then, oh, so it also takes you over to the text. We're going to talk about that in a minute. You can also add a caption. Let's say if you're, let's say if you say a, if you want a, what's called, a website right here, you can click on caption. You can type it in here and say I wanted to take them to my blog. So who is AaronSmith.com? And then up here, when you add a caption or any sort of text, it takes you to this formatting here. And this is where you can bold it, tile size it, change your colors, make it bigger, um, change your font, um, left align it, right align it. You can say how long you want to do and what time you want to start it. I usually don't mess with these ones because they're usually pretty good. Um, I just take my cursor and I put it right where I want it to pop up. And then these are your transitions. So you can make your your video or your text pop up in different way. And so one of my favorite ones is this one where it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's kind of cool. Or this one, it's like the big starry kind that people like. I think it's really cool because the starry kind I think gives you much more attention to it so I like that one a lot um, then let's go over here that's the home page and over here you can change the movie themes so it can add different things throughout your entire movie I don't do that I just do normal rotate left and right self-explanatory remove select all I mean, these are really cool um, after you're done making your movie, you can click on YouTube here, you can sign in, and it'll automatically upload everything to YouTube. You don't have to go sign into YouTube and go on to your website and fill out the description stuff. You can do it all right here inside Windows Live Movie Maker. Same thing with Facebook. Okay, let's go to the next tab. It's Animations. Oh, this is cut, copy, paste. So it's very simple, right? animation. So this is your transitions between your movie, your frames. So let's say if you want to put one between your title and your actual movie, you know, let's just click on there. And I'll give you a little preview here. So click play. So it's just a little X and then your text goes away, fades out, and then you fade into you talking. You know, it's really, really seamless, really professional looking. You can also pan. I don't mess with those personally. You can tell how long the duration, how long you want your transition to be. Don't mess with that either. They're usually The durations are usually really good, so I don't mess with those. Visual effects, I don't mess with these either, but they just give you know different effects, you know, black and white, blue, the sepia, whatever you want. And then you can change it to a 16 by 9 if you want to make it bigger, but I, you know, this is just my blog for YouTube, so it's just standard view, you can preview it, see what it looks like, zoom in, zoom out, and then here, 
these are really cool. So let's say if you have a bunch of crap right here, and you know it has nothing to do with your video, you're just getting ready to make your video, and you want to start right here. You can click set start point, and that is where your video will start. And you can also do it with the end point. So let's say if you want to cut off these frames. So just put your cursor where you want the video to end and click on set end point. Now let's say if you want to take a chunk out of your video, if you don't like what you say, you can click on, I don't like the trim tool because it just, it's annoying. So I just split it right there. And so the other thing about this, the split is that you're able to kind of see what you're doing before you delete everything, which is always nice, right? So let's say if you want to take these two frames out and then click split again. And it just takes a little break between them. And so you make sure that you got, you know, your, you don't sound funny, you got the right split between there. Then you can click, right click and click remove, right? And it takes those two frames out. And now let's say if you want to put um, between your videos, or you can also split it. Like let's say if you have this first section step one and this section step two, and you split it right between the two, you can actually add transition slide right here. And what you, how you do that, you just go over here to click title, make sure you're on the second half when you do that, because whenever you add a title, it just goes to the very front of where you split it. And so right here you can say, you know, step two, and add your text transition that you want and then go over here to animations and add your animation, your transition between the slide and, and video volume you can fade in, fade out like if you have music and if you're making a transition between photos for example you can add a photo right here by going just to the home page and add videos or photos and you want music during your, during your picture picture phase, right? Because pictures are kind of boring. But you can fade in the music and then fade out the music. So then it's not like all of a sudden, you know, making a lot of your, your music, making a lot of noise, kind of like gradually increases until you can hear the music. And also make sure you remember you have your undo button up here because, you know, there's lots of times when you screw up and you're like, ah, crap, the whole thing's messed up. So <laughs> make sure you remember you have your undo button. Okay, and let's say if you want to save it now, you can go over here and just click on this down arrow. You can save it as a project. Like let's say if you're not completely done, you're not completely satisfied with what, you, what you've edited so far, you can save it as a project. Or you can publish it just like those publish buttons I showed you earlier. Or you can save your movie. And I usually just go up here and click on recommended for this project. And then this will pop up and you can say, you know, Windows. It saves in a WMV format. And so those take a little bit longer, so you can convert to Flash. And I'm going to do a little video about that also, about converting your videos. But it'll just here, sit here and have a little percentage sign. And then when, it, when it's done, it'll bing at you. Go bing! And then you can just go on and, you know, do whatever else you're doing while it's saving. All right. And then I think that's just about all when it comes to movie li Windows Live Movie Maker. Because, guys, it's really really simple and easy to use, very self-explanatory, and it's an awesome, awesome tool to make your videos look more professional, which is what we all want to do, right? So if you want to learn more about what I do, then just click on the link below and you'll get a free report and learn how I can make 20 30 leads every single day for my business. And there's also my blog link down there. But you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.